everything is in favor of Corey T. Rex Sanders, except for the fact that Mike Tyson was 50 and 6 when he was fighting as a professional fighter. He's now 40 years of age against Corey Sanders, who, by the way, had a fight just a week ago down in Kingston, Jamaica, a fight for real. He lost that, but it was a disputed decision in Trinidad to Kristen Maxwell. Okay, let's see what Mike does here. Well, he's got a pretty good pace going, pretty good sparring session. Digging body shot by Mike. Kind of distracted in his corner there. Oh, uh, oh, he drops T Rex uh, in the first it's round. Just saying, man, he hit him. He hit him. Caught yeah. him with a good right hand. He's almost apologizing to him now. Six, seven, eight. You okay, Corey? He takes his standing eight count, all right. So we've seen the power of Mike. You know, if Mike were to get back in and fight the, for a title again, even at age 40, in the early going, he's always dangerous because he always. can punch. I would, I, I've told people, 75% of Mike Tyson is better than 100% of most of these guys now. You know what? I like the movement that I'm seeing for Mike. If Mike had fought some of his last uh, few professional fights with this sort of body movement that he had, he might have done better. Well, you know, Kurt also, but there's no pressure here, you know? Yeah, that's He's fighting relax. I mean. He's fighting relax. Yeah, and, and Corey's not putting any pressure on him. Mike is, uh, is showing some nice movement, but remember, this is a 40-year-old Mike Tyson. Remember, this is a sparring session. It's not for real. I would like to see Corey drop a right hand on him. Oh, come Mike, on. Mike nailed him with another good yeah, right hand. Yeah, man. I'd like to Corey got to drop something on him. Let's make it interesting. Come on. Corey kind of parring with his shots. Ah, uh, see, he's, you know, he's making it obvious this is a sparring session. Come on. Some of the best fights I ever saw were in the gym. This is not one of your Philadelphia gym wars at this point. Mike looks all right, but Corey just sort of catches it. Man, pick, up, pick, pick it up. He's got to pick it up. Take a long step. Long step. Yeah. And the crowd is starting to get on them. Uh, I understand. I understand. Because Corey, Mike's doing his stop, job stop. to make it interesting, but Corey's not. They don't know no better. What did the uh, rep just say? They don't know any better? Yeah, they do. <laughs> the crowd knows what they see. Hey, you know what, Colonel? I think the people just said, we just hit him. I actually okay. paid money to see this. <laughs> well, Mike with a looping right hand, but Corey... Uh, he still picked him up! He held yeah. him up! He held him up! <laughs> he held him up! Yeah. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Corey got to throw some punches with some intention behind well, him. Well, he hasn't thrown any punches with any bad intentions so far. He's just uh, doing the catching on the end of his firing segment. And the crowd doesn't like it. I mean, we're not scoring the round, but, uh, I mean, it would have been a 10-8 round, but it's, uh, it doesn't mean anything. That's why the judges aren't scoring the round. Well, listen and hear what they have to say anyway. I can't hear, hear uh, what Jeff Fennick is saying, but I'll tell you, I agree with you, Ray, that at some stage here, uh, Corey Sanders is going to make this into a, you know, a, a strong aspiring session. He was knocked down in the first round. Got caught with a good right hand and legitimate right hand on the chin, and boom, he went down. No, not, oh, there is another one. I mean, Mike's making it interesting. Corey's got to Corey's the one who's not making it interesting. He's, he's making it obvious it's a sparring session. Mike's not. He's trying to keep it entertaining. Oh, it's in there. Mike's holding him up. Mike's holding him up. I mean, come on. But this is what it's about. Coming to a place like Youngstown, where they normally would not see Mike Tyson, giving them a chance to see him. Well, that's what it's all about. Mike starts off with the right hand lead, and Corey, is, as uh, you heard Boom Boom say, he's got to make this into a good sparring session. We've got three more rounds to go here. Corey parring with the left jab. Corey's not throwing any power shots. He's Looks like he wants to mix it up a little bit more. Mike knows how to handle a big guy. See, Mike has all the tendencies and the killer instinct that he had when he was fighting for real. But uh, Corey knows that he's in there as a sparring partner. And Mike is showing some intensity. But Corey's the one, you're right, that'll make it interesting. And at this stage, it's, you know, it's nice to watch Mike Tyson, you know, use this guy as a punching bag. But it's not interesting for the crowd. No, no. And that's what I'm saying. That's, I mean, he's not in the gym now. Corey's got to say he's going to perform. It is a performance. You know, with oh. Mike not wearing the headgear, they may have told Corey, you know, be very careful around uh, stop, throwing stop, shots stop at his head. But, please. you know, that, that's no good for what the crowd came here to see or the no. pay-per-view audience around the world. They, they want to see Corey puts a little bit of pressure on Mike. Again, you know, Mike 
looking great against a guy who just wanted to stay in any heavy bag. You know what? It's a little obvious when he's jabbing his, and missing your head by two feet. Jabbing over the edge. Come on, try to hit him with the jab. You get the jab going with your right hand behind it now, nah, Corey. You gotta make it interesting. You know that side to side movement that Mike looks like he's been in the gym though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he looks I, I mean look, I'm I am glad to see he's not a shot fighter. You know, it's this guy doesn't want to fight anymore. He doesn't have the heart to fight. Hey, let me tell you, if you don't have the fire in your belly, there's no sense of being in this sport. No, yeah, absolutely. And Mike Mike admits that to himself. Uh, and of course I know it's a tremendous disappointment because you know, he's a guy that always liked to perform, and and he, he didn't perform his last fight. But, you know, there's some nice movement here, but, again, he's not getting any anything from uh, from T-Rex. Now, you could do this maybe overseas somewhere where there's just two of that to see my guys, my Tyson, because he's bigger than life. But here, in a place like Yankton, Ohio, where people hard, work hard for the money, oh, good so you've got to make it worth the while if they're going to pay for it. Well, I, this will definitely sell overseas because for the same reason that people in Youngstown came, they, they want to see Mike Tyson in person. Uh, Mike said, <laughs> Mike would have let that go. Had that been a real fight, that right hand would have gone and they had its target after the belt. <laughs> How many times did we see that when oh. Mike was fighting for real? Oops. Oops. <laughs> Again, I don't know what we all expected, but I, I would just like to see Corey pick it up a little bit to give the crowd in attendance, and of course you people have paid the good money to watch the pay-per-view, an opportunity to see Mike get hit with a few shots too. Exactly, that's my point. Let him, you know, I like to see Corey just throw a straight right in, right down the middle, hit Mike Tyson, see what happens. Well, maybe they'll let it all out in the, in the final round. This is the four, uh, the third round. It's scheduled, of course, for four rounds. Mike Tyson, uh, when the score is academic, it doesn't mean anything, but certainly Tyson won the first two rounds. It's only the third? <laughs> uh, Ray, you want to do this again? <laughs> <laughs> this is round number three. That would be, that, that's a good idea. One of the guys from the truck yelled my ear. Maybe after the fight, Mike Tyson said, I challenge anybody from the crowd to do a fight. Who wants to get in the ring and fight with him? That'd be interesting. Well, it's a circus, but it hasn't gone that far. <laughs> Entertaining in terms of the opportunity for the people here in Youngstown to see the former great champion action. But T-Rex uh, just not really putting out. And we, we don't know what the instructions were before this exhibition what he was supposed to do, but he's certainly not throwing any right hands with bad intentions and very few on, guys, jabs. Back. Just Mike sort of using Corey Sanders as a, a live a heavy bag. And he is heavy at 292 oh, oh. pounds. Yeah, that was a good jab. He stuck with jab. Come on, man. Corey, throw something back, baby. Tyson showing some intensity here. Again, just no defense by Sanders who tries to tie him Let up. Let me take it, Dan. Let me take it. Let me take it. Relax. Let me take it. Corey comes after, but he doesn't come after throwing. Well, Mike's showing some nice quickness in his hands. But you know, I used to watch guys like George Cavallo hit the heavy bag. You wonder how anybody could ever stand in there. That's basically what Mike Tyson is doing now. Exactly. I mean, Mike has got power. His power is impressive. I like some of the movements we're seeing, but, you know, the fact that they're not getting much out of Corey Sanders isn't making him a great exhibition. I mean, this is nice to watch Mike, you know, beat up on, on a glorified heavy bag is what we're seeing. Exactly. You know what? And I, I don't mind seeing it. I mean, I'm enjoying watching Mike Tyson myself. I, I like to see him drop Corey Sanders with a good shot. Let's see what happens. Let me take it Drop him again. Make it exciting. Mike caught him in the first round and dropped him with a good shot. And that was a legitimate shot, too. He didn't pull that punch. He let it fly. So he able to get back up. There was some talk of Mike Tyson wearing headgear because Sterling and McPherson, who's promoting this World War, didn't want Mike to get cut because they have a fight schedule for... Oh, oh nice oh, right hand oh. Mike. Boy, that cut, Corey. Now he's holding him up again. He's okay. holding him up. <laughs> Mike's sort of waltzing with him so he won't go down. But he caught him with a really good shot. Oh. And another looping right oh, hand. And his legs buckled. Yeah, they buckled him. So plenty of power. 
So we're seeing, you know, what you would expect to see if Mike Tyson were, you know, working in the gym against a heavy bag, basically, because Sanders isn't giving him much no, uh, offense. No. No. And we know what Mike can do in terms of his power. And if he fought in, uh, you know, let's say competitive boxing again, certainly for four rounds, Mike Tyson is as tough and the early going as any fighter that ever fought for the first four you rounds. You remember? Of the boom! Oh, that's a good, that's a good punch, man. Yeah, nice uh, dips and boom, by Mike. Boom! That double bang, that double body punch. Hey! When what? he throws, he still has the intensity. Yes, like he this. does. Oh, oh that, that buckled him, that buckled his knees. I'll tell you one thing, it's a good thing that Sanders is going here. Because some of those punches oh, are very flexible. His, head might, his head might have ended up in the third row. Well, and what we've seen tonight then, so far, Mike, just uh, tremendous, tremendous power shots throughout the course of this uh, exhibition. Now let's see if in the final round of the fight, we actually get a fight. Well, I, I just say you're saying fight, that, and, and I know we're saying that loosely. <laughs> Well, it is an exhibition. It is an right. No, and I don't right. know what we expect of an entertainment. And I am entertained by the by the fact that I love seeing, you know, Tyson throw these oh, big body oh. punches that everybody wants to see. Oh. But it's, it's not as if we couldn't do that to any station every time <laughs> I like it. You know, Colonel, I always say, though, I, 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 any guy that comes out three steps, I have a lot of respect for him. Corey Sanders, he knows when he's here for it, and he's in the ring, so... In all respect, I, I do have tremendous oh, respect. And, and also, in fairness to Corey, we don't know what instructions no, were given no, exactly. to uh, by exactly. the handlers. And exactly. you know, don't hit Mike in the face, don't hit him in the head, don't throw any really heavy right hand power shots. Oh. We don't know that, but we do know one thing: he can be hit by right hand power shots of Mike Tyson, and he would have been knocked yeah. out a long time yeah. ago had he not been wearing headgear. That's for sure. So Mike is giving us uh, the best possible throw he can, and nobody's leaving yet. No, nobody's not leaving. Person is left. <laughs> Because there's always the anticipation of what might happen when Mike Tyson's in the ring. And I, and I tell you, I've said it a couple of times, I'm enjoying it. I mean, th this is what I expected. A absolutely, session, absolutely. It's a glorified Spartan session, but entertaining. An exhibition. And this is the way Ali fought exhibition. Joe Lewis That's fought what I'm exhibition. saying. That's the point. Gene He's Tony, not the only one who's done it. They've done it. He's just doing it on a wide, bigger stage. That's it. Everything that this man has done throughout his career has been magnified tenfold because of what a devastating punch he was in his youth and of course the notoriety that he gained for his problems outside the ring. But when he was in his prime, he was uh, as devastating and as frightening guy to any opponent to face and he intimidated a lot of opponents. You know, one of the guys at Trek Kids said, it's, it's a it's hard, you know, it's imagine you can feel actually feel sorry for a guy who's 6'6 six, six and 290. But good point, that's it. Uh, now the people at least get a chance to see what Mike Tyson was like when he was really boxing well. Because he oh! was so did he oh! let that one, he let oh! that one fly. And that gets the crowd's attention. Oh! So Mike isn't holding back one bit and Dory Sanders is paying the price. I hope they're giving him a good payday. Mike trying to entertain the crowd. He said he would. And there's the bell to end the exhibition of Mike Tyson. Stop number one in the world tour. And again, I don't know what we all expected, but I thought we got our money. I did I, so. I, did I liked too. it. I liked it. I, it was good to see Mike and, you know, I had flashbacks every time I saw him throw that right hand and landed of some of the great knockouts that I, I called over the course of his career. And in that respect, it was thrilling to see him. Yeah, but, hey, Corey, I wish he, 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 he you know, and, and again, we don't know what his instructions right, exactly, were. So, exactly. you know, what, what we wish is, is, is academic. It was an exhibition, and I thought entertaining. I thought so, And, and too, I don't know what more you could have expected tonight out of it. And I'll tell you what, it's almost as entertaining sitting next to you. <laughs> All right, we show you Mike Tyson in action in the fourth round. Watch some of these shots, Ray. We know he's throwing some devastating shots. And boom! Those, those shots knocked out many men throughout his career. Look at that. The uppercut. You know, I mean, obviously he's not taking it easy on Corey Sanders. Oh, <laughs> man! That punch had every intention of trying to take him out. All right, Seat Williams is standing by. Seat, go ahead and take it away. We're set for you. Seat, uh, 